Raider Nation, what is going on? Coming at you right now in your face with week eight, the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Cleveland Browns. The Raiders coming in three and three and the Browns coming in five and two. Should be an exciting matchup. I will tell you, if you guys are in Las Vegas this weekend, make sure you are watching the game at Stage Door Casino. Stage Door Casino is the go-to spot in Las Vegas. Authentic Raider Nation. Have yourself a good time. But I will say, this matchup has me very intrigued. It has me fired up, and I will say, it's really close. Really, really close to a must-win football game for this Las Vegas Raiders. It's time to bounce back. No more excuses, Raider Nation. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start this thing off the same way I always do, and that's with the injury report. And this, for the first time, I feel like our injury report is somewhat even, okay? We're going into a, an opponent that is dealing with some injuries and some key players out, maybe a little bit even more than what we're dealing with by the time it comes to game time. For us, looking at Richie Incognito, I would say he most likely stays on injured reserve this weekend. I don't see him playing on Sunday. My personal opinion, I, I see Richie Incognito staying on injured reserve, um, and I, I think he'll still be out with that Achilles injury that he's been resting. It's been a few weeks now. It's been, I mean, we're pushing, what, like five weeks after this. So hopefully we see him returning soon. John Gruden reported that it was one of his best days earlier in the week. Still, I don't think any need to really rush him back. I'd like to see him back hardcore for the second half of the season. Now, Trent Brown should be returning to practice. I would say Friday is the day that we expect him back. It is Friday, and that's hopeful. Absolutely hopeful. It's not guaranteed. Trent Brown needs to be on that football field Sunday. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, Trent Brown. Hopefully, we can, we can make this thing work. Um, and as long as his tests keep coming back negative, um, we're, we're all good to go. Jonathan Abram is back. He's back on the football field. We, we missed him last week. Um, hopefully we'll see him with a rotation of Jeff Heath and Eric Harris. We're going to see what that duo looks like uh, back in the secondary of safety. Brian Edwards is working his way back slowly. And he is, you know, he dealt with that ankle injury from a couple weeks ago. And there's been really no need for him to rush back. And I think the reason he doesn't need to rush back is because of Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar has been out there killing it. There's absolutely no reason that Brian Edwards needs to rush back. Now, if he's able to get back out there and get in the rotation, cool. Even more firepower to rotate in there. Maybe we can drop a couple plays for Brian Edwards to get out there and get the ball in his hands. Amazing. Damon Arnett comes out and he announces on Twitter himself that he's COVID free um, and his hands feeling better. So, I still I still see him being out Sunday. I still see him being out Sunday. I'm, I'm glad that he's hopeful. I'm glad he's feeling better. But I still see him staying on IR this Sunday. I don't really see Damon Arnett coming back. I don't see him playing. So expect Nevin Lawson again. <sighs> Nevin Lawson really got tested last week. For me personally, I'd, I'd love to see Isaiah Johnson get some more snaps out there at, at the outside corner position opposite of Trayvon Mullen. That's just me. But, uh, you know, Nevin Lawson, I expect to still start. I'm still hopeful of Isaiah Johnson because I'm, you know, I, I'm an Isaiah, Isaiah Johnson stand. I've been like that ever since he came in uh, last year. I um, mean, we'll see how that turns out. One name that came up last minute is Arden Key. He didn't practice today on Wednesday with a knee injury. So keep an eye on Arden Key. He's kind of like on the lower end of the snap list whenever it comes to defensive linemen, but he's still the key part on passing downs. That's kind of his role, coming on passing downs, rush the passer. That's all you got to worry about. Um, so keep an eye on Arden Key. Now, whenever you switch over to the other side of the ball, and I think where things get a little bit even for us, um, and that's obviously, I wouldn't say even, but Odell Beckham is out for the season uh, with a torn ACL, and that's a key part to their offense. Now, from there on out, Nick Chubb is still on IR. So when Nick Chubb's still on IR and his knee injury, he won't be playing here either two key players to their offense. So no Odell Beckham, no Nick Chubb. Miles Garrett did not practice today, and that was with an ankle injury. I still expect him to play on Sunday, so I wouldn't look too much into that. And Austin Hooper did not play or did not practice, should I say, with an abdomen injury. So Austin Hooper, I would say, is actually legitimate, maybe questionable, another key component to their offense, but I could still see him playing on Sunday. And then they have guys like Jack Conklin, 
uh, their running back, Kareem Hunt, who they're relying on now, and their wide receiver, number one wide receiver now, Jarvis Landry, all limited practicing. I still see them, obviously, playing on Sunday. Sounds a little even for us, right? Now, whenever we actually get into the key of things, actually, before we get into the key of things, looking at this matchup and this heated matchup, something that's really close and something that my bookie has us at, like, uh, I think they have the Browns at two and a half point favorites. Um, I think they have maybe have a favorable over under depending on the weather. Why don't you guys visit this place? All right, guys. Winning season has returned at my bookie. Winning season means doubling your first deposit. Winning season means insane props, epic bonuses, and the craziest cross sport wagers. At my bookie, winning season means watching live sports and betting live sports all season long. So Raider Nation, let's get amped. The Raiders are playing great. And that means action-packed Sundays and huge cash prizes. Get in on the action and use promo code RaiderCody to double your first deposit. New players get up to $1,000 in free play designed to add more excitement to the sports you love and the games you bet. So bet with the best this NFL season for your chance to win big. Again, use promo code RaiderCody and double your first deposit. Your winning season begins today, only at my bookie. So getting into the swing of things, looking at the Raiders' offense. In my opinion, the Raiders' offense is a top five offense. Getting Trent Brown back is going to be huge. Maybe getting Brian Edwards' work back in the system is huge. But for the first time ever, I feel like throwing the ball down the field, something that we've been begging for, asking for, wishing for, is happening. We are chucking the ball down the field. Henry Ruggs is still a factor no matter what. Nelson Aguilar is a pleasant surprise. Darren Waller is a top five tight end in this league. And I'll tell you, Derek Carr is playing at an MVP level. So getting this offense going is going to be key. Something that the Browns have struggled at. I wouldn't say they're similar to ours, but they have given up the third most passing yards so far this season. They've allowed the fourth most touchdowns this season. They are actually a top five run defense. So Josh Jacobs, I still see him getting in motion because I just talked to a fellow Browns podcaster tonight and he said that look although that we've done well stat wise number wise against the run we haven't faced that solid rusher so they kind of faced their first one and James Connor gave up like 100 rushing yards I see Josh Jacobs having 100 rushing yards this game giving uh you know given the weather conditions could be high winds could be a little damp could be something else. One thing about this defense that we got to be careful of is just like some of the past ones, like we dealt with the Bucks and dealt with the Patriots, they forced a lot of turnovers. Okay? So they've had seven forced fumbles that they've recovered on their own, and that has obviously translated with interceptions and everything else. 14 total turnovers through eight weeks. It's a lot. It's like top five in the league. It's a freaking lot. So... Raiders, be on your A game. The Raiders offense, Derek Carr, control that ball. Don't turn it over. Look out for Miles Garrett because Miles Garrett, I believe, is the sack leader of the year so far. Flipping it over to the opposite matchup, and that's going to be the Browns offense. I still see them as a top five offense, in my opinion, even missing the weapons. Not a big deal. I see Baker Mayfield facing our defense is still going to be a threat. I still see this being a shootout and. They have ran the ball very well, even with Kareem Hunt, their backup running back. It doesn't matter if Nick Chubb is out. Kareem Hunt has been phenomenal. And then going over to the Raiders' defense, we're looking at the <laughs> we forced the fewest turnovers of 2020. We forced three turnovers so far of 2020. So we're bottom five in total offensive drives because we forced three turnovers on defense. That's something we got to get together. I would say we're probably almost easily the, e the the worst defense in the league. So, Paul Gunther, this is your time to get your stuff together and get out there. If we're going to have a shootout, you need to throw this defense together the same way we did against the Kansas City Chiefs and get them out there and make some stops. Get the ball back. On third down and third and 13, on third and 13, they better not be converting third, first downs if we want if we want to win the football game. That's all I got to say. We have a very good offense and a defense that's it's time to step up, boys. Paul Gunther, get these guys under control because that's where I'm at. So, like I said, visit mybookie.ag using promo code Raider Cody. And in it, if you're in Las Vegas, visit Stage Door Casino. If you see a guy named John, 
Tell them Raider Cody sent you. Have a good time. Enjoy the football game in Vegas around some authentic Raiders fans because that's what they do. They're there to cater to you. It's not, it's, I'm telling you, it's not a trap. It's a good thing, man. Silver and black oozes out of those walls. So, Raider Nation, like I said, whew, it's a bounce back game. Borderline must win. And I think the Raiders pull it off. So, Drop those score predictions down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell notifications because we're going live as soon as the Raiders and Browns game is over with. And that's it. Raider Nation, this will be the last time you see my previews like this because next time, next week, you'll be seeing Eddie Borsili joining me. And it's going to be a good time. So, Raider Nation, see ya. See ya.